Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Standard Institute, HBAC channel. In our today class, we will learn about duct split air conditioning systems. It is one of the HVAC system. Okay, so it's a duct split air conditioning system. By the name itself, it says it's a split AC. Split AC is nothing but split the refrigeration cycle components into two different parts. One is outdoor unit, other is indoor unit. Outdoor unit and indoor unit. In your ODU, outdoor unit, you will find compressor, condenser, accumulator, blower. These are the things you will with heat exchanging coil that is condenser coil in outdoor unit. In indoor unit, you will find again heat exchanging coil, blower that is evaporator section, filters. From outdoor to indoor, you will find refrigeration input, refrigerant in and from IDU to ODU, refrigerant out. ODU to IDU, refrigerant in at a temperature of 6 degrees Celsius and the refrigerant state will be in liquid state. From IDU to ODU, the refrigerant out at a temperature of 16 degrees Celsius and the state of the refrigerant will be condensate gas. See, one thing let me clear you before proceeding with all these things. To understand this duct split air conditioning system, we must have grip over two cycles. Cycles are very important. One is refrigeration cycle, other is air cycle. It's a why because this particular setup is combo of refrigeration cycle and air cycle. Refrigeration cycle is this cycle is in between ODU and IDU. Outdoor unit, indoor unit. In outdoor unit, you have accumulator, compressor, condenser. Condenser section has a blower and heat exchanging coil. This is about outdoor. In IDU, you will be having heat exchanging coil that is nothing but evaporator coil, a filter and a blower. From outdoor unit to indoor unit, a refrigerant pipe is going. That means the refrigerant is being supplied to indoor unit so as to cool the room at a rated temperature of 6 degrees Celsius liquid refrigerant. As the room rejects its heat to this particular refrigerant, as it is a low temperature, room is higher temperature, as we all know, heat transfers from higher body temperature to lower body temperature. So, it is a lower body temperature, that's why whenever the refrigerant comes into our room IDU, automatically room heat gets rejected to this particular 6 degree liquid. Due to that, what happens, room gets cool, but the refrigerant which is coming from the outdoor unit to indoor unit at 6 degree Celsius liquid state converts to condensed gas at a temperature of 16 degree because its temperature got raised as it takes the heat from the room as the room rejects its heat to liquid refrigerant. Why? Because it's a lower body temperature. Hope you are understanding. So it's all about refrigeration cycle point number one. Oh, outdoor unit, indoor unit, supply pipe at 6 degree liquid, detent pipe at 16 degree gas. This is your refrigeration cycle. What, what are the components you will find in refrigeration cycle within the duct split AC? Accumulator, compressor, condenser in outdoor unit. Evaporator section in indoor unit. Hope you understood this. Then let's come to our air cycle. In our air cycle, air cycle, air cycle is all about ducts. Refrigeration cycle is all about refrigerant pipes. Keep it in mind, this red color and this green color are the refrigerant pipes. Here, the red and green color are your ducts. For green, I took low temperature liquid. For red, I took low temperature gas. For green, I took low temperature air, 22 degrees Celsius. Then for return air, for high temperature air, 27 degrees Celsius. Hope you are understanding. So it's an air cycle. It, the, both are ducts. It's a refrigeration cycle. Both are pipes. So here, 
this is your FCU fan core unit or IDU. In your IDU, as I told here, you will be having evaporator, coil, heat exchanging coil, filter, and blower. Blower blows the air. When the air passes from the IDU coil at 6 degrees Celsius, automatically the air becomes cool. This cool air passes into your room. Your room is is what it is it's having a high temperature but the temperature of your air is low at 22 degrees celsius automatically room rejects it heat its heat to this particular low temperature air and this air converts from 22 degrees celsius to 27 degrees celsius due to this your room will achieve the rated temperature of 22 degrees celsius which is very good for the human comfort as we have here, we have one of the factors to achieve indoor air quality is temperature. By this, we are attaining a required temperature of 22 degrees Celsius. This 22 degrees Celsius has been achieved, but due to room temperature, there is a rise in air temperature from 22 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius. This air is been taken by the blower which is there within the IDU. In IDU, you are having a blower. It's been taken back. Blower, what does a blower or fan does? It sucks the air from the room and gives back to the room the same air at a rated pressure. But when the IDU is giving back this particular air to your room, it cools the air. How? Because you will be having a set of coils here. Set of cooling coils where the refrigerant is in liquid state. Coming from where you are outdoor unit, from outdoor unit ODU, from ODU refrigerant is getting into your IDU at 6 degrees Celsius and this hot 27 degrees Celsius air is striking your cooling coil. What happens when the 27 degrees Celsius air is striking your refrigerant coil which is in liquid state automatically it rejects its heat to your refrigerant and it gets cooled. What is happening? Return air is rejecting its heat to your refrigerant coil and it gets cool. This particular cooler is again being sent back to your room. Again, this air will get heat up. This heated up air rejects its heat to the liquid refrigerant which is coming from the outdoor unit. Due to that, this outdoor unit which was coming at 6 degrees Celsius which was coming at 6 degrees Celsius will convert into 16 degrees Celsius it was in liquid due to the heat rejected by the return air its temperature increases from 6 degree to 16 degree and the state converts from liquid state to condensed gas hope you all understand this is the way these both of them are working together to give us a rated temperature of 22 degrees Celsius in both the space 1 and space 2 with which we are attaining indoor air quality criteria. What, are, what is the, how to achieve indoor air quality? Three things are there. One is temperature control, second is humidity control, third is fresh air. If three things are fulfilled then we are getting a quality air it seems to be. Okay, so let me explain over here. It's again I'm explaining. It's an outdoor and this is an indoor. From outdoor to indoor, refrigerant at 6 degrees Celsius is coming, but the return air, return air, which is striking at 27 degrees Celsius from the return air diffuser is been taken by by your blower, it's sucking the air, return air, return air temperature 27 degrees Celsius, refrigerant temperature 6 degrees Celsius. What is happening? Heat exchange is taking place due to that you are getting a supply air of 22 degrees Celsius. But what is happening? Your refrigerant outlet, which inlet is 6 degree liquid, outlet what you are getting 16 degree gas, condensed gas. Again, this gas is going to your outdoor unit to why it is going to outdoor unit to carry out the cycle. Why to carry out the cycle? Again, to get converted into 6 degree refrigerant. Hope you are understanding. This is the way these two cycles work together to give you a proper required temperature. Hope you are understanding. And now 
this, this, I have explained the cycle, both the cycles, refrigerant cycle and air cycle. Let me explain you different components and then this particular total uh, view what I have drawn over here, sectional view. Okay, this, it is an outdoor unit, condensate fan, it is your indoor unit, these are the heat exchanging coils, blower, filter section with dampers. Okay, here I have given a mouthpiece which is been attached such that I can the duct can be easily fixed to this IDU. If from here a supply CFM of 1100 CFM is going, I took a branch duct which is supplying 600 required 600 CFM to this particular room. Okay, it's a supply air damper, uh, supply air diffuser. It's your branch duct. This particular connection is shoe collar. Okay, as the CFM got decreased, the duct size will decrease. That is why give a fitting is been given. It is called as concentric reducer because I am reducing the duct size from both the directions. Okay, and uh, we are having a reduction in the CFM because from 1100 CFM, 600 has been given to this room. Remaining is 500 CFM. This 500 CFM has been supplied to this particular room. It is a branch duct for this room. This is the branch duct for this room. Both of them are supplied duct. It's a main supply duct. It's a branch supply duct. It's up in the air. Okay, these are anchor fissure, threaded rods, and channel support. Anchor fissure, threaded rod, channel support. Anchor fissure, threaded rod, channel support. Such that I can easily place my duct onto the with the support on roof, and I take it to the way wherever I want, wherever I want to install in a given project. Okay, and one more thing, I'll, let, I'll explain you. See, it's a roof from false FCL, false engineering level, SSL, soffit slab level, FFL, finished floor level, FFL, finished floor level. From FFL to FCL, usually, in general, we will be having a 9 feet height. And for all of our MEP components which is to be installed in a given project, we will be getting a provision of 3 feet. Altogether, from finished to floor level to your slab level, soffit slab level, you will be getting a general height of 12 feet. It's your roof and it's a 6 inch thick roof, concrete and reinforced roof. Hope you are understanding this. See, once again I am explaining you. Roof, this lower level is soffit slab level. From soffit slab level to your fall ceiling level, you will be getting a provision of 3 feet height such that you will install all your MEP components such as ducts, cable trays, trunks, conduits, firefighting pipes, uh, water supply pipes, chilled water pipes, all the things, all the MEP components will be carried out between these three pits. It is your fall ceiling level, this is your fridge to floor level. Altogether from FFL to SSL, you will be having a 12 feet height. From FFL to FCL, 9 feet height. From FCL to SSL, 3 feet height. And one more thing, just it's an important point for you to check out. I am supplying a CFM of 600, but I am taking back only 550 CFM. I am not taking back total 600 CFM. Why? Because in working spaces, we have to maintain positive pressure. That is the reason why we will be taking back less amount of air when compared with supply. Supply air CFM 600, return air CFM 550 CFM. See here also, supply air CFM 500, return air CFM 450. One more thing, one more point, one more important point. See, RAD, RAD is been there, but I have not taken any return air duct. I just placed return air diffuser. It's enough because there is no block, nothing is blocking me. From taking my return air back, if it's a wall, if there is a wall here, if there is anything which is blocking my air, then I have to take a return back till my ID. Understand? If there is no blockage, no need to again carry out a return back, no need to carry out. Just place a diffuser, return diffuser, return diffuser, every single thing will be carried out by this blower. It sucks the it sucks your return air back to your IDU 
and this return error will strike your coin and strike you with your coin it gets cool again cool air will be supplied to your room but the refrigerant converts from 6 degree to 16 degree celsius it will be again taken back to your outdoor unit hope you all understood what i have explained here regarding duct split air conditioning systems please like comment share subscribe our youtube channel help us to grow our channel hope uh, i did uh, justice to this particular uh, session we will see you soon take care